Good afternoon guys, um, Dex here from Dex Unlimited and today we have a very special guest. Ito ang aking pinakagwapong kapatid na si brother Kuya Jovic Moya. Hey, thank, thank you Kuya for, ano, for um, giving me the time. Alam kong busy busy kang tao. <laughs> and... Uh -huh. It's an honor to Kalat ka rin daw ako kaya ko sana sana nakakarating. <laughs> It's an honor to have you here in my channel. Thank you, thank you, Kuya Dex. Okay. Anong balita? Anong pag-uusapan natin today? <laughs> well, um meron ako naka ano eh, naka mga list. <laughs> so, um before I really do that, um ano ko muna? E -e 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 entrahan ko muna. So, uh, you started first sa showbiz. Kasi naalala ko noon eh, when I was young, alago pa ng buhok mo noon. You have very uh, thick hair. <laughs> And yung boses mo noon ang talagang unique eh. Gusto, yeah, gusto mo yung panahon. boses mo. Ito ay, may, may ano pa tayo. May alindog. May, may uh, the hair that crowns our beauty. Uh, <laughs> And Yeah, I remember, yung boses mo is very unique. Kasi minsan pa nagsinita ka, minsan, kahit yung mga main characters na, na sasapawan mo eh, mas maganda yung boses mo sa kanila eh. Salamat, <laughs> salamat. Um, anyway, when did you start show business pa? Nako, 80s pa. Bago mag sa revolusyon. <laughs> 80s. And malamang sa that's entertainment ka ba talaga na discover before? Oh, I started way before that. I started, I used to uh, I used to uh, come out na sa Loving Leo's Helen, sa Connie Reyes, sa uh, yung mga uh, new time shows ni Inday Badiday. Mm -hmm. alam, alam mo ko, yan yung sinabi mo lahat yun? Lahat yun, naabutan ko eh. So I felt old too. Ah, <laughs> Diyan na labas ang edad mo. <laughs> And kasi bigla na lang ako nagulat. Ah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, mga mid-90s or mga late 90s, parang nawala ka bigla sa eksene. Eh. And then I've heard na naging police ka. Yeah, I entered the police force in 1992. So yon, I said na mag-abroad muna ako. Uh, pero actually, I went into training and did all that other stuff. <laughs> okay. So gano'ng katagal ka naging police? Uh, matagal din. Uh, I left uh, around the 2000s na. Okay. And was that also the time that you migrated to US? No, I, I moved to New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. So hindi talaga sa US? <laughs> no, I, I lived all over the world. I, did, I, I, I was studying in the US. I was studying in Madrid. I was studying everywhere. Uh, so, yun. <laughs> I like to study. Kalad ka rin ka nga. <laughs> So, pero nagulat din ako eh na nalaman ko, mason ka pala. Kasi before I became a mason, ngayon nga, narinig ko na ikaw, Bernardo Bernardo, and some of the Ang artistang naging mason sa Pilipinas, ang unang-una si Ading Fernando. Hmm. Alawa si Tito Soto. Yes. Si Tito Soto, ako ang pangatlo. Pangapat, si Bernardo Bernardo, and then later on, yan, sumunod na sila Dieter, yung mga iba, mag, uh, naging dumami na ang showbiz masons. <laughs> okay. So, when did you join masonry? And where? Ay, de, ako naman, I joined, I, I come from a long line of masons. Eh. So, mm -hmm. hindi ako lang ang mason sa pamilya ko. My, you know, from the great, great, great grandparents, I have a long line of masons. So, uh, hindi bago sa pamilya ko ang pagiging mason. Uh, it was already there. I became a mason in the United States. I became master of my lodge. And, uh, you know, nag-tuloy-tuloy uh, totally na yung masonic journey ko. I visited masonic lodges in various jurisdictions. I see. Member pa ako ng Abfellows. Oh, my. Ng Pogamafi. 
So mahilig ako sa fraternities. Uh, fraternities that serve humanity. Ultimately, you have to ask yourself, why is it that you're joining? What is the what is it that you like? Uh, lahat tayo kasi we're searching of means and ways to improve ourselves. We want to come closer to God. We want to come closer to perfection. But perfection is something we will never be able to reach. We are not gods. We are humans. We are fallible creatures. So that being said, the journey towards perfection is a lifelong journey. So every day you apply the tenets of Freemasonry, the tenets of the Odd Fellows, the tenets of caring for other people, like in Talgama also. So at the end of the day, these are three different paths that lead to the same destination. And that is to become a man for others in the service of humanity. Very well said. I like that. <laughs> and ako naman, I joined Mason at first. Because nung high school pa lang ako, the who's, the who's who of um, people around the world are Masons, like George Washington, Jose Rizal, so... That is true, because you remember, Masonry was founded for the exchange of, of thought. Diba? If you trace your uh, the history of Masonry, we like to trace our history to the days of the Templar Knights, and the founding of the Templar Knights. But modern-day Masonry was a means to exchange ideas, you know, for people to exchange ideas without fear of uh, retribution from the government, from the church, or from society in general. So you had people who were notable at the time, people who were th saying, you know, we can have a democracy like George Washington, you know, all these other these leaders like Benjamin Franklin, so on and so forth. They were they were talking about, uh, you know, uh, ways to be, to self-govern. Right, and then you had all these other people who were also scientists. You know, you had people who were uh, uh, who invented the vaccine. You know, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, what is his name? Anyways, but you know, he was a mason. Then you had people who were inventing uh, 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 mechanisms, like 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 uh, guns. You know, like uh, see Gatling. He was also a mason. He invented the Gatling gun and so on and so forth. And then you had artists. You had poets like, uh, like, uh, um, like what's his name, uh, Oscar Wilde, for example, one of the youngest Masons. No, and then you have uh, uh, Samuel Clemens, you know, uh, uh, otherwise known as Mark Twain. You know, these are the, so everybody had a, had a beautiful way of expressing themselves in the arts, in the sciences, in philosophies, in politics. So it was a golden age of Freemasonry. And then that's why we have all of these prominent people in Masonry, like Sila Jose Rizal, diba? Sila Andres Bonifacio, because at the era, na ideas matter. Diba? Wala namang interaction eh. Diba? Mapakapi ang mundo nun. So yung pang, mga ideals ng, ng pantay-pantay ang tao, yung ideals na makapag-discover ng mga bagong bagay sa siyensya, yung mga ideals na makapag- uh, pa- 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 Pa, pa free ng, uh, sa bondage ng, ng monarchies, di ba? Ng mga ganon, mm. di ba? Self-governance. Ma maraming mga ideas noon. It, it, was, it was a perfect time for them. Tayo naman, eh, tinutuloy lang natin yun. We, the modern Masons, di ba? We have, uh, we, we are basically doing the same thing uh, that our ancestors did, di ba? Alright, so tama ka doon kasi sinabi mo, we are the modern day masons and we are just continuing what our um, older brothers did in the past. And ikaw, I'm not sure if you agree with me because paniniwala ko kasi if it's not for the masons, there will be no free world. Totoo naman, totoo naman, totoo naman. Um... Maraming, uh, especially mga, mga Scottish Rite Masons, yun mga Pasaway. So you'll find that the founding fathers of the United States were Scottish Rite Masons. And uh, yung mga ibang re revolutionary natin sa Pilipinas, mga Scottish Rite Masons din yan. No? Uh, because of course, uh, di ba, uh, iba rin yung uh, mentalidad nila nung araw. Hmm. Okay. Alright. So, um, Jump naman tayo sa ibang topic. Yeah, kasi before, 
I greeted you Merry Christmas and you told me Happy Holidays. <laughs> because that time you were a DS, right? You have to think of it this way. In, uh, you have to understand that most Masons in the 16 and 1700s were Deists. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the time when Christianity was run by the, uh, the only the, the only power then was the Roman Catholic Church. It was deemed very oppressive. So many of our brothers then decided that maybe God isn't Catholic. You know what I mean? God is God is an om, is an om, omnipotent omniscient presence so the term great architect of the universe was devised this is a this is a term of deists adopted by masonry so that everybody could participate because whether you are a muslim whether you are a, a catholic whether you are a protestant whether you are a buddhist you will all agree that a supreme being created the universe so the minimum requirement for masonry was a belief in a supreme being. Right? It did not name that being as Christ, as 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 uh, as, as Yahweh, or as uh, Buddha, or as uh, Muhammad, uh, as uh, 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 Allah. No, it was the great architect of the universe. It was a it was a, a neutral term. So at the time, I was also very much uh, into. Uh, Deism, which is a belief in God without having the chains of ritual, mm. right? So uh, that was it. And then, of course, uh, I had that little episode where I had a little, uh, uh, you know, I had my sec, my, I had a heart attack before, so I could have a cardiac event again. And then this time people were telling me, oh, you were gone. But, you know, in my in my head, whether it was just in my head or it was a vision or it was something, it was divine communication. Uh, you know, I got I got a new bearing in life. I got a new mission in life. You know, there was, um, uh, I was told it's not yet my time and I will do other things. So right after that, I, 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 uh, started doing a lot of, uh, of uh, preaching and a lot of charity work. Okay. And, um, yun nga eh, kasi nagulat na lang ako all of a sudden, ay, your post in Facebook, most of them are uh, about Jesus Christ. So, ba? Sabi ko? Yeah, but who can explain it? Who can tell us why the workings of the great architect of the universe, you know, only fools will give you reasons. But wise men cannot try because... Really, there is no way that we can fathom his will. Yep. So if you are called, listen. The problem is many of us are called, but many refuse to listen. <laughs> mas maraming, eh, unay, mas maraming important yung ginagawa daw, according right. to them. No. <laughs> well, God bless them. Oh, oh, only fools would have a closed mind. You know, I have an open mind. I'm willing to accept things as they come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God bless you, Kuya. <laughs> Likewise. All right. So, um, yung, yung son mo pala, si Rob Moya, di ba? It's uh, also starting to make names uh, in the show biz business, so... Yeah, he's he's around, he's doing vlogs and everything else. He's old enough to know what he's doing, a little too young to care, but yeah. it's okay. How old is he, ba? <laughs> he's old enough to know what he's doing, but too young to care. Okay. <laughs> ah. No numbers, sorry, no numbers. <laughs> so, uh, did you encourage him in show business, or he followed your path? Yeah, he he wanted it. I don't encourage my children to follow my path. I had a very strange path. I went from show business to um, to um, from show business to uh, to. Uh, to, to make masonry, to uh, teaching, to preaching, to uh, I've done different types of jobs. You know, uh, I, I, I've uh, I've maximized life, <laughs> but I would like my children to to, to pursue their own uh, desires, to pursue their own uh, paths. It doesn't have to be mine. You know. Uh, I, I find that too narrowing when parents dictate what their children should become. And are you still active in show business? No, not anymore. Um, 
uh, since the pandemic, I stopped uh, uh, pr producing films, and now I just do 100% uh, the uh, charity work. We're trying to establish a new clinic, which will uh, which will serve the poor uh, people living with HIV, especially the LGBT community, and most of them are poor. So, I mean, if, in this country, medications for HIV is free, but there are many other diseases that come along with it, and it's not free. And alam naman natin, uh, this country followed, ang sinundan kasi natin ay nag-iisang bansa, no? kung wala kang pera, eh wala kang ospital. Yan po ang Estados Unidos, mga kaibigan. Niloko po tayo ng Amerikano, sinabi sa atin na kanila ang magandang sistema. Pero pumunta ka ng Australia, pumunta ka ng New Zealand, pumunta ka ng Canada, pumunta ka ng UK, pumunta ka ng kahit saan, sa Germany, sa Switzerland, sa Norway, sa, sa Spain, sa France, lahat ng mga bansa, libre ang doktor, libre ang ospital, at libre ha, ang mga gamot. Pero uh, sa Amerika po, pag wala kang insurance, mamamatay ka. Hanggang emergency room ka lang. Bakit? Kasi wala ka namang pera eh. Ang, ang mga Amerikano po, ang ospital nila, mapang-ape. Yes, iku, yes, uh, they will treat you. Pero tandaan mo, nakakabit na po yun sa tinatawag na social security number mo. Habang buhay po, utang yun. Hindi ka pwedeng umutang dahil mababa ang score mo dahil may utang ka pa dun sa ospital. Wala pong libre sa Amerika. Kalokohan po yun. Huwag kayong papaloko. Ang mga tao, may trabaho, may insurance card. Paano kung wala kang insurance card? Paano ang mga mahihirap? Tayo sa Pilipinas, ang dami natin modelo na pwedeng gayahin. Ginaya natin ang mga Amerikano. Wala pong rason para magkaroon ng St. Luke's, ng Cardinal San na mga Makati may dapat po libre lahat ng ospital sa bansang ito. Sapagat din hindi naman po sa mga lahat, halos lahat ng mga ulan na bansa. Yan po sana, pagdating sa eleksyon, ang iboto nyo, yung mga politiko na iaangat ang antas ng kalusugan sa bansang ito. Mm. So, sa, like sa UK, kahit na wala ka insurance, libre? Yes, you're a taxpayer. Kung hindi, wala kang trabaho, it's still, you are a human being. It's a, it's a basic human right. Hindi alam ng mga Amerikano, ibig sabihin ng human rights. <laughs> Pero nagagalit sila kay Duterte. Bayan! You pay! Saan mahal ang gamot? Di ba sa, sa, sa Amerika? Oh. Hmm. Mahal ang gamot doon. Okay. So, um, Kuya, I'll give you this time, Kuya Jovit. I'll give you this time to... Uh, Um, to promote your um, mission regarding abandoned kids. And alam, alam ko meron ka rin YouTube yeah, channel. I, I, I am the executive director of uh, Apostles of Christ Family Mission. So ang, uh, ang main trust namin is for children. No? So kung gusto niyo mag-donate, uh, please feel free. Um, ang aming uh, Gcash is... Uh, 0968 para sa ikabubuhay ng ibang tao at para gawing uh, kasagutan sa dasal ng ibang tao. Huwag tayo maghusga. So kung ano man ang rason na yun, hindi na ho namin uh, uh, iniisip yun. Pinagdadasal na lang po namin ang kalilang mga magulang at inaalagaan naman po natin yung mga bata. We support them no? uh, sa Home for the Angels. Doon po naka-house yung mga bata. Tapos may mga projects din po tayo ng mga tinutulungan ng mga usually mga bata. Makikita niyo lagi kung pinopost mga Facebook o iba-ibang mga projects. No? Sometimes meron tayong Feed the Children. Sometimes, uh, katulad ngayon, we're trying to help yung mga doktor sa, sa uh, Marinduque para makabili ng mga uh, tinatawag na incubator para sa mga premature babies no? uh, para sa provincial hospital sa pagkatulang po yung mga incubator para sa mga premature babies. Mm -hmm. uh, marami pa po tayo mga proyekto talo na po yung mga mahihirap na may HIV sana po eh, at right now we're in the process of, uh, of building our clinic and registering it so that uh, we can serve our people uh, para nang sa ganun eh matupad naman yung pagiging uh, uh, moderno at uh, walang bayad ang uh, ang uh, medical services sa Pilipinas small, small steps lang 
Um, these abandoned kids, kuya, these, these babies, uh, do they get adopted or something? Some of them are get adopted. May mga swerte po. So, kung kayo po ay gusto niyong mag-ampon, wala kayong anak, uh, kontakin niyo lang po kami. At uh, kung kayo naman ay uh, ayaw niyong mag-ampon, pero you have time, you have uh, resources, gusto niyong maging foster parent, you are welcome din po. May lisensya lang po tayo sa DSWD, mag mag uh, tayo po ay mag na sa foster parent. Okay. Sige kuya, I'll um, post all of that information kung saan pwede mag-donate um, sa aking sa description field below para ano? Para yung mga may mabubuting golden heart, 'di ba? Kung tawagin niyo natin eh sana makatulong. And uh, kuya, um, last, no, second to the last pala is you also <laughs> have a YouTube channel, 'di ba? Meron ako YouTube that channel is Jovit Moy. I talk about the Christian life, uh, prayers and how to how to be how to be a christian in day to day living alam nyo christianity is not just saying oh i believe in god i believe in jesus and i pray the our, our father who art in heaven hindi lang po yun. it is a daily 24 hour way of life so you have to think ano po yung uh, uh, ano po yung ating mga iniisip ito ba ay makakabuti sa ating relasyon sa kapwa tao sa ating relasyon sa Dios. So to wrap things up, okay? First again, I would like to thank you for giving me the time. And ang susunod kong liligawan si Sir Ben Bon Rocco. <laughs> Nakainuman ah. ko siya once. Nice, Red, nice, nice. Red horse pala yung tinitira niya. Gusto <laughs> mo sa kanya, kaibigan natin 'yan. Di actually yung anak niya is college ko, si Luis. I see, I see, mm. I see. And uh, nung humingi ako sa iyo ng pabor regarding sa birthday greetings nga ng parents ko, eh, kasama rin siya doon. Tsaka si Kuyang Wan Mid. Nice, nice, nice. So, <laughs> and yeah, again, thank you for the time, Kuya. And alam ko hindi pa tayo nag-meet personally. So kapag ayos-ayos na yung pandemic. Oh, gusto eh, pandemic, yung... mahirap ngayon. Lalo na yung mga thunders na katulad ko. <laughs> gusto ko nga sana eh, pag okay na, samahan kita. Isama mo ako sa mga exotic cuisine. Ano yeah, mo? pwede rin, pwede rin, pwede rin. Huwag okay. lang palaka. Huwag lang palaka. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, kuya, to uh, wrap things up, can you maybe say a closing prayer? Para ano? Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Lord God, for the opportunity to be able to have uh, this ugnayan with my brother and of all the people who are watching this video. Touch their hearts. Shower us with love so that we may share this love with every human being. Let us be the light in the world and let us do everything for the glory of your name. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who you gave for the forgiveness of our sins. Amen. Amen. Well, um, hope you can join us soon. Okay? Kapag may... Maraming ano tayo, may mga bago tayong ideas. Um, and sabi ko nga sa iyo, gusto ko nga sanang ma-share din sa iyo yung knife lessons, di ba? Ah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, pag natapos talaga yung pandemya, very soon. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. And, um, ingat, kuya. Ah, ingat din. Salamat and uh, we'll talk Thank you for soon. having me dito sa iyong video. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone.